wanted to undermine manufacturing for reasons that I find just absolutely absurd. So if you're looking at what's happening, you can see people, and there are probably some in this plan, who are doing the same job as their parents did, but for less money and fewer benefits. They're doing everything right, but they be, maybe they can't even find a job in their chosen profession. And it's gotta be hard to be optimistic about the future. And it's clear that we're giving too many Americans, particularly working Americans, a really raw deal. So in this campaign, it's important that people not just give speeches and get everybody riled up. You need to ask them, what are you actually going to do and how are you going to do it? Give me the specifics. Don't just give me the rhetoric and the demagoguery. And that is why I am trying to be as specific as possible. You know, I, I'm just bewildered when I hear the Republican frontrunner, Donald Trump, actually say that wages are too high in America. That's why he doesn't support raising the minimum wage. And Republican governors and legislatures like yours right here in Indiana are waging a relentless assault on workers' rights. And I know um, Ted Cruz has called for a national right to work law. Well, right to work is wrong for workers and it's wrong for America. And it's important <laughs> to stand up against these domestic efforts. We've got two sets of challenges. We have challenges from our own country, from businesses and political leaders who don't seem to understand that we still have to make it in America. We've got to make things and sell things around the world. And then we've got unfair competition coming from outside. So I recently heard